Why, hello there. Welcome to the next game of Call of Its Battle Series. Or actually, this is just Cossack 3. And today we are fighting again in a classical Call of It game, Call of Duty 10PT 5K. Once more, it's me, Carla, and Evil Boba, and another one as God and Coke against OC Cosmo, Diamond Producer, and Furio and Anhoria. So we are going to see how this will turn out because Cosmo and Furio are quite decent players. Whilst the other two, I think that uh, Anharaya is also quite decent. But I don't really know about the other three guys. Evil Boba, Scott and Coke, and Diamond Producer. I haven't seen them play often enough right now. So I can't really determine their status. Since I only play Scotland anyway, it's not really a big deal if I say somebody is good or not. So Colorful has to determine this. And I think he's saying that these games are fair. Since he picked the teams, which is obvious. He always does. Sometimes I do think that Color is something of a color dictator. <laughs> And the banter has already kicked off. So I am Scotland again, which is obvious. And today Colorful Colour plays as the Lamp Pole. Or also called Poland. But since uh, Colorful isn't really useful as Poland, I think he's going to be the Lamp Pole. And brightening up my way. Meanwhile, Scott and Coke and Evil Boba are Spain and Hungary, which is a quite nice combination. Those pikemen and musketeers of Spain are very heavily armored, so they can very well support the Hungarian musketeers, which are quite overpowered actually, and don't have armor at all. But since Evil Boba is going for the closest pikemen, it's going to be a quite, quite uh, holdable flank there. I don't think that I will break anything soon so that we will have uh, flank problems. So right now, so right now really nothing is happening. We'll have to wait until the peacetime ends before something to happen. Which is quite usually because the, the peacetime is usually just filled with building up economies, armies and all that fancy stuff. Which is normal for a Cossacks game.
So I'm having a fairly good start again. Which is quite nice. So I won't have to mind if Call of it fails completely again. Which is quite possible since uh, he's Poland. But that does not mean anything, I might as well be wrong. And I do think that Colorfoot is going to fail on his own. Since he just said he's going to ignore musketeer upgrades. I do need my musketeers, and I don't need winged hussars, because I'm Scotland. And as you know, Scotland is brave. We don't need horses to fight on. We just punch our enemy in the face. That's what Scots do. Don't you remember Battle of Bannockburn? Scotland versus England, huh? Ring a bell? Very good. I almost thought that I have to put you in your place. And I won't be ready until 15 minutes, color. So prepare for no help until that. <laughs> Since I do want to have my musketeers pretty well armed. And apparently people are going to, to be scary to you with us. And apparently our, our allies are somehow failing against Polish pikemen where they, when they have Hungarian musketeers and Spanish pikemen. I don't even know how they managed to do that, since the Spanish pikemen are actually supposed to be way better.
it's time to dispatch the enemy a bit. And they are already falling back, huh? Of course, you cannot stand the braveness of Co of Scotland. The wing pistols are not even needed. No, Colorfit, this is not Hearts of Iron 4. We cannot collect experience here. The enemy are crumbling, are crumbling against my forces. Against our far superior Scotsman. With ease, I am going to smash them into bits and pieces. Even the pity Hussars. They don't stand a chance against me. The game is a bit laggy in my opinion, but it has not crashed. If it would have crashed, this wouldn't look like it's looking now. You would do greatly if we were getting some archers here, call of it. Uh, Scott and Co. crashed because his name is grayed out. Since he's only the uh, Hungarian one, I don't think it's going to matter a lot since the Spaniard seems to be far more useful with his pikemen. Don't worry, you can help him. I'm going to keep this front under control quite easily actually. They won't stand a chance against me.
All right, I'm gonna move and I'm gonna win. And I'm gonna win. I just like to see the uh, Benny Vidi Wiki. Or did he say Benny Vidi Wikipedia? <laughs> Even the great guy who's using Caesar had to Google Gaul first before he took it. Oh, it's Austria. This is going to make things interesting, but not too interesting since I'm having fully upgraded musketeers anyway. They even have full defense upgrades. And this pretty Polish won't have as well. This front is just a massacre. And apparently you shouldn't upgrade your musketeers after all. But don't worry, I'm soon having a delegation of my men ready to save your ass. I already forget, what did you mean? Yeah, your plan always run out like this. You think you've got it in the back, and then you just fail. Oh, and apparently I've got somewhat defeated by a peasant rush. That's a shame. But at least the enemy cannot defeat me fully. But the game has, significant, has significantly slowed down due to lag, which is an annoyance. That's the common Scottish life, saving everyone's ass in the fight. While maintaining multiple fronts.
The balloon is going to help me coordinate my attack. So that's a good thing. For now at least. And the enemy is weakening even now. My mana is just far too superior. This is going to be a piece of cake. The rest of this battle is going to be quite easy. Especially since the purple is still going for a pikeman. Which I'm just going to shred into pieces. With my army of, of archers and musketeers. The Pani Croats cannot damage my superior arm and armored musketeers. Not even the Soviet rush can defeat me. I am pleased that the enemy is going to give up soon. Another victory for the Scottish Empire. There is and shall be no resistance to the Scottish army. 